Reverse parallel parking is a really useful skill for any driver, as it will often be needed in urban areas. In addition, the UK driving test includes the option of the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre, so it's worth taking the time to perfect our technique. In this video, we'll show an overview of the manoeuvre from outside the car, a more detailed view from inside the car, and a few extra tips to help while you're learning. If you have any questions about the video, then please leave a comment and we will do our best to reply. If the examiner wants you to do this manoeuvre, they will ask you to pull over a few car lengths behind a parked car. They will then say, this is the reverse parking exercise. Would you drive forward and stop alongside the car ahead? Then reverse in and park reasonably close to and parallel with the kerb. Try to complete the exercise within about two car lengths. When we are attempting to parallel park, we may become a hazard to other drivers or pedestrians. So we must observe all around the car before starting and throughout the manoeuvre. If we spot any danger, we should wait until we are sure it's safe to continue. There are several different techniques for this manoeuvre, but the one we like the best, we call the one two, one method. First, we drive slowly forward and stop slightly ahead of the other car with a door's width gap. We select reverse gear, look around and slowly reverse. Once the car is level with the other car, we steer one full turn to the left and check for danger again. When our car is about 45 degrees to the kerb, we steer two full turns to the right. We then use the left door mirror to check our position and once the car is parallel to the kerb, we steer one full turn left to straighten the steering. So as you can see, we call this the one two, one method as it refers to the amount of steering required. One turn left, two turns right and then one turn left to finish the manoeuvre. Knowing exactly when to steer to the right is key to a good parallel park, as the timing of this turn will dictate how close we finish to the kerb. An experienced driver will be able to guess when to steer, but whilst learning, a reliable reference point is good to use. The reference point we use is to look in the left door mirror for when the kerb disappears, and then quickly steer to the right. Different cars and seating positions may need slightly different turn points, so if needed, experiment until you find your favourite time to steer. It is rare for a parallel park to finish absolutely perfectly, as there are several variables that can affect the finishing position. We often find that we will need to adjust the steering angle slightly to ensure the car finishes reasonably close to the kerb. We suggest stopping the car just after steering right to give more time to check how the car is positioned. Then we can adjust the steering and continue to finish the manoeuvre. If we can't get the car straight after the initial reverse, we can tidy up our position by moving forward and backwards within our two car lengths gap behind the other car. If we realise that we have got the car into a position that we won't be able to correct, we can just restart the manoeuvre. Just drive forward to the start position and try the parallel park again.
If we abandon the manoeuvre, we won't pass the driving test. But if we park correctly on the second try, we will still have a chance of passing. When parking between two cars in real life, the first thing to do is choose a suitable space. We look for a space that is at least one and a half times the length of our car, as we need a safe margin to manoeuvre into. We must ensure that we don't damage the other cars, so we drive really slowly, and if needed, we can ask a passenger to guide us in. In really tight spots, steering the car while stationary can help. This is much easier in modern cars that have power steering fitted. So remember, stop beside the other car and check for danger. Steer one turn left when level with the other car. Steer two turns right when our car is 45 degrees from the kerb and steer one turn left once our car is straight. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel, then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.